Hi, I'm Margaret. We're making cheese bread today. It's a lovely recipe to make on a rainy day when you're stuck inside. There are three simple steps to this recipe. Each one takes minutes and there's not a lot of kneading necessary either. So why not give it a go? I love using this fast action yeast. There's no messing about. You just pop all the dry ingredients into a bowl and give them a good mix. I put the grated cheese in with the dry ingredients. The pieces are then coated with the flour and that stops it sticking together. Spreads it nice and evenly through the mixture. Once you add the cold water, it needs a really good mix. I like to use the dough attachment on my mixer. It's much less wearing on the hands. You know it's ready when it becomes quite sticky. This will only take about two or three minutes. Cover it with cling film, pop it into the fridge for about six hours or even overnight and wait for the magic to happen. As well as expanding, it won't feel quite so sticky anymore. Once you've floured your board, put a little on some baking paper too, or you could use cornmeal as I am. Use plenty of flour so it doesn't stick to your hands. Now this step is to knock out the air. It helps to prevent getting great big holes in your bread when it's finished. Again, this shouldn't take long, just a couple of minutes. Then shape your dough and pop it onto the baking paper. I'm making mine into a long oval shape and this is simply so that it doesn't fall off the baking paper once it expands. It does get quite big. Give it another light coating of either flour or cornmeal. Cover it and leave it for another two hours or until it's doubled in size at least. And hey presto! It does feel a bit like a magic trick. It's extremely satisfying to see it expand so well once you take the top off. If you add a little finely grated cheese on top at this stage, it gives it a lovely cheesy crust. When the oven's hot, pour some water into the bottom tray to give it a lovely steamy atmosphere. Then your bread can get popped onto the top shelf in your tray. Check it after 20 minutes, turn it round, and if it's getting too brown, you could always pop a little bit of silver foil on top just to stop it from browning any more while it cooks. So there we go. This cheese bread is lovely, fresh from the oven with lashings of butter. It's also nice toasted and rubbed with a little bit of garlic for a quick and easy cheesy garlic bread. Well, it's always nice to see that your baking's appreciated. I think there might just be enough left for a couple of photos at the end of this video. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed making and baking with me today. Have a great week and I'll catch you very soon.